All right, let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Uh, this one uh, about the Deshaun Watson suspension. Hey, Dave, Frank from Cleveland. Uh, I'm tired of hearing people say, like, the Browns are going to be 4-4 four and four if Deshaun's suspended for eight games. Jacoby never had this kind of talent around him. I say the Browns go 6-2 and two if he's suspended for eight games. He don't turn the ball over. He's smart. He can manage the game. So I say we go 6-2 and two if Deshaun's been in eight games. Thank you for taking my call. Come back. All right, as always, appreciate uh, all the voicemails. Uh, played for the Patriots and the Colts, so there there was some talent on both of those teams. Um, you know, the first first four games aren't terribly tough for the Browns. Next four are pretty darn tough, so uh, six and two might be asking a lot. Yeah, and I mean, it's certainly reasonable that even if Jacoby Brissett starts the first four games because the toughest opponent by far in that schedule is Pittsburgh in week three, certainly reasonable they go three and one. But then you look at the next four games, home against the Chargers, home against the Patriots, at Baltimore, home against Cincinnati on the Monday night. I would be very hard-pressed to say Jacoby Brissett wins three of those. Very hard-pressed to think he can win three of those games. Maybe even two is a lot to ask for him because, yes, he's steady. He's not going to turn the football over. But against those better teams, you also need your offense and your quarterback to go make plays and go be aggressive and make those touchdowns. And Jacoby Brissett is a, is a very conservative quarterback as far as, you know, taking his shots and whatever. He's not going to put you in jeopardy, but he's also not necessarily going to put you in be the best position to win by, just by himself necessarily. He's, he's a game manager, and against, you know, worse teams, that can work. But against really good teams, you need to have guys you can match up, you know, with better offenses because in, it's the NFL. Just because you have a great defense doesn't mean you're going to be great on that particular day. The quarterbacks are just too good. The offenses are too good. The rules are so slanted to the offense where you can be a really good defense, and any time you step on the field, you can still give up 30-plus points. Keep in mind, there's a reason the Browns paid Deshaun Watson $230 million. <laughs> it's because they trust him with the ball in his hand late in the game. I don't know that you, that you have that same feeling with Jacoby Brissett.